I'm suggesting that you take the ashes from your past and you spread them somewhere and let them get turned into beauty. Amen. You see, where, where I put my brother's ashes, there's no way I could go back and collect them. <laughs> God wants you to walk out here tonight determined to never in your life spend one more night with the frogs. What? How did you get to frogs? Well, let's go to Exodus chapter 8. <laughs> I'm actually going to redo this message and call it one more night with the frogs somewhere, but. <laughs> Exodus 8, the Israelites in slavery in Egypt cried out to God to send them a deliverer, Moses, who was a type of Christ, sent to deliver them. Pharaoh, who would represent the devil, did not want to let them go. So God sent plagues one after another and said, you are going to have one miserable life until you let my people go. Well, one of those plagues was frogs. Now, <laughs> chapter 8, verse 1, Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go that they might serve me. And I'm here tonight to tell you that we're announcing to the devil, Let God's people go that they might serve God. Amen. I'll be a mouthpiece for God tonight and say, Thus saith the Lord, let my people go. Amen. Amen. And if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite your entire land with frogs. And the river shall swarm with frogs, which shall go up and come into your house, into your bedchamber, on your bed, upon your people, in your ovens, in your kneading bowls, <laughs> and into your dough. God's painting a picture here. Frogs everywhere. <laughs> you know, if you have misery in your life, it's everywhere you go. <laughs> frogs. Self-pity frogs. Anger frogs. Bitterness frogs. Hateful frogs. Come on, who's getting it? Frogs. All right. And the Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron, stretch out your hand with your rod over the rivers, the streams, the canals, and over the pools, and cause frogs to come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land. But the magicians did the same thing with their enchantments and secret arts, and they brought up more frogs. Now, I thought this was interesting because it's kind of like Pharaoh, instead of just praying, God, I get it, get rid of the frogs. He turned to people to solve the problem, and all they did was make more frogs. Come on. When you go to people to solve your problems that only God can solve, you're only going to get frogs on top of your frogs. <laughs> I mean, could you get a picture of frogs in your bed? Frogs nibbling on your toes. Verse 8, then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let your people go that they may sacrifice to the Lord. Now get ready. And Moses said to Pharaoh, Glory over me in this, dictate to me when I shall pray to the Lord for you, your servants and your people, that the frogs may be destroyed from you and your houses, and then they will remain only in the river. Moses said, okay, when do you want me to ask God to get rid of the frogs? And Pharaoh said, tomorrow. <laughs> now, do you want to spend one more night with the frogs? Why would Pharaoh want to spend one more night with the frogs? Why didn't he say, pray right now, right this minute? Who in this building tonight is going to say, not one more night with the frogs? 
You know what? Tomorrow is possibly the most dangerous word in our English language. Tomorrow. Let's get rid of the frogs tomorrow. Let's just go to bed with them one more night. Come on, are you with me out there? When are you going to forgive the people that hurt you? When are you going to stop saying it's too hard? It's too much. It's not fair. Right now. Right now. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. What is the most important moment in your life? Many of you would say the day that I received Christ. For many of you, that would be tonight. Some would say when I got married, when I had my kids. You'd all be wrong. The most important moment in your life is this moment right now. Because it's the only one that you know for sure that you have. All of yesterday's moments are done. You can't go back and undo what people did to you. But you can make a decision tonight that you're not going to spend one more night with the frogs. You're not going to let what somebody did to you 20 years ago keep ruining your life. You're going to press in and you're going to get the beauty for ashes, the joy for mourning, the praise for heaviness. Amen. You know, Jesus fed several thousand people with a little boy's lunch. And uh, it wasn't nearly enough to feed the crowd. There was only a few loaves of bread and just a few fish, thousands of people. But the little boy said, I'll give you my lunch if you can do something with that. And of course, Jesus miraculously multiplied it. And it was enough to feed all the people. And there's a thing there that if you will just give God what you have, even if it's not enough to fix the problem, even if all you can give him tonight is your broken, messed up, miserable life, <laughs> he'll do something miraculous with it. And he can use even your broken past to end up feeding a lot of people. Amen. I'm feeding you tonight the Word of God. I'm breaking bread with you, so to speak. And it's multiplying, it's going to you, and it's going to those millions of people that watch by TV. And, and an amazing thing happened. When Jesus had finished feeding all the people, they gathered up 12 basketfuls of fragments, just little broken pieces. And Jesus said, gather up the fragments that nothing be wasted. And here's what I want to say to you. If you feel like your life is just a fragmented mess tonight, If you'll let Jesus gather that up, he'll make sure that nothing in your past is wasted. Your pain will become somebody else's gain. Your mess may become your message. What you've walked through may become your miracle and certainly somebody else's miracle. You know, for many years, I said, well, if only I wouldn't have been abused. If only I wouldn't have been abused. You know, when Lazarus died, his sister Mary said to Jesus, if only you would have been here, Lord, my brother wouldn't have died. Jesus, why weren't you here? So often we say that. Well, why, weren't, why didn't you help me when I was in that situation? Why didn't you help me when I was being abused? I prayed. I asked God to get me out of it. He didn't. He could have. He didn't. Well, Joyce, how can you not be mad at God? Because he's a whole lot smarter than I am. And I tell you something. Now, listen. He didn't, he didn't get me out of it, but he got me through it. Come on now. I'm going to tell you something. He got me through it. And I want to tell you something. Now, just wait. I got me some experience with God. And now, God's taking that broken mess... And right here, right now, 
this message, my healed life, my restored life, this one message has the potential to start millions of people off in a right journey of healing in their life. And you know what? If God would have just gotten me out of it, what I wanted to get out of it, it would have been nice. I wouldn't have got hurt, but I wouldn't have this message tonight. I wouldn't have this message. And you know what? I don't know how God works all that out, and I know sometimes it doesn't seem fair to us, but I'll tell you one thing. Whatever I lost, oh, honey, let me tell you, God has given me double for my trouble. Amen? And he's going to do the same thing for you. No more frogs! Well, I believe it's time to make a decision to walk out of bondage, leave the frogs behind, and find the freedom that Christ died for you to have. Don't live in your past pain for one more day. Today we're offering you an entire action plan on Beauty for Ashes, how you can trade in those ashes and receive back from Christ a beautiful life. It includes CDs, DVDs, and a personal application workbook. Don't miss this opportunity to learn all you can about the life of freedom that Jesus is offering to you today. Escape the prison of your past with the Beauty for Ashes Action Plan. With over four hours of Joyce's teaching on CD and DVD, a personal application workbook and journal, the Beauty for Ashes Action Plan will help you change your perspective on the past and live a life as God intended, filled with joy and purpose. It's available today for your donation of $35 or more. Contact us right now, 1-800-727-9673. Well, I'm issuing a special invitation to you to attend one of my conferences this year. And some of you might say, well, Joyce, I'm just too busy. Well, you know, that's usually our first response to a lot of things. But really, when we make a commitment to come, I believe that God is really going to make a tremendous impact on your life. You know, it's very important for us to slow down and set aside time for God. So why don't you make plans to join us? We really would love to see you there. Don't miss your chance to see Joyce live. Inspiring worship, life-changing teaching. The Joyce Meyer Conference is coming to Hershey, Pennsylvania, August 7th through 9th with worship by Fused Worship. And Toronto, Ontario, August 21st through 23rd with worship by Israel Houghton. All sessions are free. For more information and a complete conference schedule, visit us at JoyceMeyer.org or call toll-free 1-866-C-JOYCE. It's time to give God the hurts of your past and let Him give you the healing and restoration you're longing for. Joyce's classic book, Beauty for Ashes, will help guide you to receive God's freedom and peace. Beauty for Ashes, available now from Joyce Meyer Ministries. You'll have more joy when you do more for other people than you will if you ever keep trying to do everything you can for yourself. Thank you, friends and partners. Together, we're sharing the love of Christ around the world. To find out more, please contact us or visit us online at JoyceMeyer.org. Join us in partnership as we share the love of Christ around the globe. The proceeding was paid for by the friends and partners of Joyce Meyer Ministries.